day for the first time in Butte County. Authorities say he pushed a burning car down an embankment. ABC 10's Luke Clary joins us live in studio now. And Luke, you've been tracking the latest for us, including what the suspect says happened. Well, Laura, he says it was an accident that his car caught on fire and that he ran. That's according to the Butte County District Attorney. But prosecutors will try to prove that he purposely pushed it down the hill. In the hearing Monday, the judge determined Ronnie Stout would remain in custody with no option for bail. At the heart of the arson case, how did this burning car end up at the bottom of a gully? He claims this was an accident. Butte County District Attorney Mike Ramsey says the defendant has admitted to the crime up to a point. He had pulled his car off of the road and found himself in the grass. Fire started and he got frightened and left the area. The DA says Stout acknowledged that his car caught fire, but denies the accusation that he then pushed the flaming car down the embankment. However, there's a witness who says they saw him do it. Describe in detail how he pushed that car off into the gully, saw the vehicle careen down into the gully and then burst into flame which then, of course, caused this monster that is called the Perk Fire. Stout has a previous criminal record, including lewd acts with a child, robbery, and DUI. Arson of an inhabited structure would be his third felony, so he could be sentenced to 25 years to life under California's three strikes law. Witnesses also claim Stout was drinking nearby before the incident. This didn't have to happen. There's indications he was highly intoxicated at the time. And Ramsey said that if prosecutors cannot prove that Stout pushed the car, he'd still be facing an 11-year sentence. Today, Stout was assigned a public, a public defender, and the arraignment was continued until Thursday, where Stout is likely to enter a plea.